In this video we are talking about the variable index dynamic average indicator and how to automate it. It's the red line here and we use the function IVIDYA to create it. It takes a few parameters here, so let's go through everything. So let's create an expert advisor that returns the handle of the variable index dynamic average indicator. If you click on insert indicators trend variable index dynamic average, you will see that we have a CMO period of 9 and an EMA period of 12 and we are going to use that later on and you will also see the values when you place your mouse above the indicator here or click properties. Here is also a shift value of 0 and we are going to apply the close price to calculate the value. OK. To create it, please click on the little button here or press F4 on your keyboard. And now you should see the Meta Editor window. And here you want to click on File, New, Expert Advisor from Template, Continue. I will use the name check entry underscore IVIDYA here. Now let's click on Continue, Continue and Finish. And now you can delete everything above the on tick function and the two command lines here. This time we will also delete the on tick function because we need one that is named check entry. And here we are going to create a variable called signal. That's a string variable that does not have any value now because we are going to calculate that later. We use MQL rates to create an array for the price data. And we need to sort the array from the current candle downwards. That can be done by using array set as series for our price array we have created here. And now we want to fill the price array with data for three candles. That can be done by using copy rates for the current symbol and the currently selected period on the chart. We will start with candle zero copy the value for three candles and store them in the price array. Now we need to create another array for the expert advisor. And once again we use array set a series to sort it from the current candle downwards. Let's define the actual expert advisor by using the IVIDYA function for the current symbol on the chart and the currently selected period. And here is a 9 and a 12. These are the values that we have seen here. When we click on properties for the CMO period and the EMA period. And here is a 0 for the shift value. And we use price underscore close because we want to calculate the expert advisor based on the close prices. The IVIDYA function is described in the help. Press F1 to see the description of any function you like. And now we use copy buffer and the expert advisor definition to copy for buffer 0 from the current candle 0 for 3 candles and store the data in the EA array. And now we can calculate the current value just by getting candle 0 from our expert advisor array we have created here. And if the calculated value is above the close price for candle 1 in our price array, that's a buy signal, so we assign the word buy. And if the calculated value is below the close price, for candle 1 in the price array, that would be a sell signal. And now we can return the signal to our main module by using the return function. In my case I'm using the forex trading framework. Basically a framework is a collection of predefined functions and you can trade any entry you like with it. After the compilation please click here to go back to MetaTrader. 
And here you want to click on View, Strategy Tester, or press Ctrl and R. And in the Strategy Tester, you want to select the Forex Trading Framework, a currency pair, or the main module that you use. Now mark the visualization and start your test. Let's enable the graphical overlay and go for full speed. OK, now you know how to create the IVIDA Expert Advisor entry with a few lines of MQL5 code.